Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I am Shadow Productions, and in the last episode, we, uh, found Bowser stuck in a cannon, basically. Now we have to go find some coins to pay to Tool Star to help him out. And now we've met these guys. Sergeant Starshade, the shooting stars we just witnessed were an alien bombardment. Perhaps. In the name of the Starshade Brothers, we will find the alien scum. They will rue the day. General Starshade, sir, I have confirmed the presence of a suspicious unknown entity. It is a vivid green color that pierces the eye. Hmm, yes, sighting confirmed. However, I see not green, but red. Urgent, pursue additional visual contact immediately. Ah, it seems like Mario and Luigi could not quite keep up. Oh, incredible! It is none other than Mario from the Mushroom Kingdom. Luigi sighting confirmed. Sergeant Starshade, change of mission objective. Achieve autograph... Achieve. No. Obtain autographs. Stat. Hmm, I see. Incredible to think Princess Peach's lovely voice in the hands of some vile enemy. Her voice must be recovered, no matter what it takes. Priority one, Sergeant Starshade. We must provide as much field support as we can. Very well, we Starshade Brothers will teach you the secrets of the Brothers action. Master Mario, Master Luigi, special Brothers action training shall commence immediately. Are you ready to undergo training? Well, of course. This is one of the main concepts of the Mario and Luigi games, another thing that sets it apart from the Paper Mario series. Of course, aside from the fact that the world isn't made of paper in this game. So the first brother's move that we will be learning is the high jump. No, I'm good. So, what you need to basically get down now is pressing the L button will change Luigi's actions and change, pressing the R button will change Mario's actions. Um, well, it'll change the what whoever's in the back, the left, and the right will change whoever's in the front. But anyway. So we change Luigi's icon to the high jump, and pressing B will initiate it, and now we can use that to jump much higher. Now this ability kind of gets lost in later Mario and Luigi games, and they just give Mario and Luigi the ability to jump higher, but whatever. It's still a useful tool in this game that you'll use quite often. Another one that you'll use quite often is um, this jump, which is the spin jump. And this will help you reach, um, get across vertical or horizontal distances as opposed to uh, vertical which will be used, which will, you, you'll use the high jump for, but the spin jump will be used across gaps and such. Excellent. And you'll need different brothers in the front or back in order to use certain brothers moves, and you can always review if you want to, but I don't really need it. Excellent. Now the proving grounds. The time has come to show the fruits of your training. You must use the high jump and spin jump we just taught you to reach the flag way up there. Good luck, soldiers. So now this is just really a test to see how well you understand the brothers' moves. It's pretty simplistic. Using the, use the high jump to get up here, and use the spin jump to get across. Another high jump, and what's this? A mushroom. Wonderful. And now a spin jump. And there we go. You'll be required to use these moves quite often to scale cliffs and such, so definitely get used to them. They're probably two of the more prominent brother mo brothers moves, I'd say, and of course you learn more as you go on, as time goes on, and you'll learn how to use them in battle and such, which is always really cool. Those are the special moves I was talking about earlier. So that's pretty much what sets this apart from any other Mario RPG series, which is the Paper Mario RPG series, because that's the only other one really there is. Um, so, I wonder if we can use them yet. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can do that before they give us a tutorial. Um, yeah, we actually can use Brothers moves right now if we wanted to, but I think I might just wait until they give us the tutorial. I don't know, just because. It'll be more official that way. It'll be weird if I explain it and then we have to listen to them explain it. I'd rather just have, uh, have them explain it to me once. But um, at this point, I'm probably going to start cutting out the battles a little more, unless a new enemy shows up. That's generally how it's going to work. Um, if I want to explain how to, you know, how a certain new enemy fights and how to dodge his attacks and such, then I'll probably show the battle off. 
but at this point, I don't really find it necessary anymore. Now, with regards to this game and compared to the other Mario and Luigi games, I would probably say this game, eh, I don't think it can touch uh, the original Paper Mario or even Thousand Year Door. Um, for me, anyway, because those are both two of my favorite games of all time. But, um, otherwise, I think I would probably rank this as my third favorite Mario RPG. I don't know what would come after that. Um, but this is probably my third favorite. I'd say that Mario & Luigi Partners in Time would probably be at the bottom for me. Oh, I have to go over there, don't I? Oops. I don't know why I came all the way back here just to fight that one enemy. But, um, I'd say Partners in Time probably goes at the bottom of the list for me. Um, not that it's a bad game. It's like saying, oh, I like Mario & Luigi, or no, I like, uh, Ocarina of Time better than Majora's Mask, or vice versa. It's like, one game is, re I like the other game better, but no discredit to the first game. That was just an example. I really don't know which one I like better at this point. We must confirm technique mastery in combat situation, or simulation. Now, I really don't understand the point of killing all of these fighter flies just so we can battle against one of them. But, I mean, whatever works. And now, as I said before, they will give you a little tutorial on how to attack uh, with brother's moves. When you choose this command, your list of brother's attacks appears. Okay, let's see your attack, Mario. Oh, no, we want to do this. Um, no. Unfortunately, we cannot change uh, the thing with L and R yet, but oh well. Just press A for now, and we'll try it out. And you're going to want have to press certain button combinations to initiate the brother's moves. Um, when you just do the standard one, it's really easy. It'll go nice and slow for you. And they'll even like pause it so you can get the right button. So we'll start by pressing A as Mario at the right time. Next, we're going to press B to get Luigi to hop on. And then we'll finish the attack with A. And it will do a pretty decent amount of damage. 12 damage, which is solid. But for some reason, it still didn't kill him. So that is a pretty tough fighter fly. Now we're going to learn about the modes. And Mario gets to attack again for whatever reason. Now this, I always use mode 3 pretty much at this point. Maybe I'll use mode 1 or 2 once just to get the hang of it. But basically, the higher the mode, the harder it is to pull off the brother's move. But the less points it'll probably use. Mode 2 would be without slow motion and 3 is without button icons. Now since I've played this game a pretty decent number of times, I'm pretty prominent, or I'm pretty skilled at using uh, the level 3, or mode 3 techniques. But anyway, that's really it for brother's move and brother moves in battle. Luigi, it's the same exact thing. So I guess I didn't really feel the need to show it off. But I definitely use brother's moves a lot, especially in boss battles. There's no reason not to. I don't know. But they do sometimes use quite up a use quite up blah, 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 use up quite a few points. But they're definitely worth it. Oh, we got a level up with Mario. I'll probably show these off, even if I don't show the battles off. So we're already at level four, which seems pretty high for me. I'm usually not this I don't know. Maybe I am, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But um let me just kill this fighter fly before I say anything else. Alright, now we gotta level up for Luigi, so swell. Now we're both at level four. We are definitely ready to take on, uh, oh, but I better, I better not spoil it. That'd be, uh, oh my god, 16, 16, 16, 16, oh, 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 oh my god, I'm so excited. Not really, that is, yeah. I've had way more exciting things happen in my life, but anyway, uh, I don't think we need to go back up here, do we? Nope. But as I was saying with the whole, uh, partners in time deal, not a bad game, it's just, I don't know, the best way I can say it is it's not as good as the other Mario RPGs, I don't know. Just some of the overworld parts are a little tedious and annoying and repetitive. And, I don't know, sometimes the game just gets kind of annoying. It's not necessarily a bad game, I'll still be LPing it. Um, especially since I want to show off Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I don't think it's been LPed very much at all. And, I don't know, it just 
seems like it would be a fun game to do, because I really like it. Now, I think that's really it for this whole thing. Um, how many coins do we have? We have 105, which is plenty. So now I think we're, it's going to be a pretty good uh, opportunity to save our game. You can see the progress since we've started this area. Even though I don't know if I saved when we started. I think I first saved back on the Koopa Cruiser. But now we're at level 4 and we have plenty of coins. Uh, Nyek, let's see here. You now have 105 coins. Nyek, it took you long enough, but well done. I'll just be taking those coins now. Finally. Oh, well, the Bowser does not talk like that. Bowser's a little more manly. Finally, let me out of here. Huh? You want out? You want me to help you? Who said I'd do that? Ruh, you welcher! Nyak, nyak, nyak. Nyak, nyak. You're not in the Mushroom Kingdom anymore. Outsiders be gone. Well, that was certainly a dick move. We're gonna have to kick your ass for that one. And I also get to show off level 3 Brothers moves for the first time. That is the intensity of a level 3 Brothers move, and it really only did 7 damage. So that wasn't really so intense at all. Now I'll show off Luigi's with a, it's B, A, B, I believe, yep. And that's 12 damage right there. Let's see how much a regular attack is. Oh, two. All right, well seven, two, I don't know. Yuck, yuck, isn't it a nasty attack? Even watching the hand I throw with won't help you. Well, something tells me that that probably will since you bothered to mention it. I don't think Miyamoto would just stick that in without a, unless he had a good reason to do it. Although Miyamoto does shit all the time just to piss people off, so I could not tell you, to be honest. Nyak! Um, oh, oh, okay, there we go. When he says Nyak, I'm guessing that means that it's gonna bounce over the brother's head, so I wouldn't jump. Enemies like to do that all the time, throughout the Mario and Luigi games. Sometimes they'll try and fake you out, you don't really have to do anything, um, but you'll jump instinctively, and then you'll hit, ah. Oh. Hmm, not bad, not bad at all. But how about this? Oops. Yeah, I definitely see whichever hand he's throwing with will generally be the brother that he's gonna throw it at. Um, now I'm running low on brother's points, as you can see. You'll, you're starting to notice the uh, hopefully the function of brother's points. They'll drain every time you use a brother's move. Neck, I'm assuming we're not supposed to jump. There we go. And as you can see, we are both out of brother's points, which is no good. So now we're only doing like two damage a pop, but it doesn't matter because Tollstar went down very quickly. We got a level up and a one up mushroom. We are just doing fantastic right now. I am quite satisfied with how that turned out. I'm not satisfied with the fact that we're not at 16, 16, 16 anymore. 16, 16, 16, 16. But you know, I'll get over it. And Tollstar has now been defeated. I think that's his name, I hope so. Okay, hello. Grah! Mario Greenstash! You gotta get Princess Peach's voice back! It's all up to you! Yeah, we're not teaming up with Bowser till the third game anyway, so... Whatever. I don't know why that Starshade dude felt the need to launch Bowser out of a cannon, but, I mean, to each his own. Those passports, oh my god. Those are some sexy-ass passports. Those are definitely going to get us into the Bean Bean Kingdom. I don't know. I don't know why they just have this giant monster thing on the border of Bean Bean Kingdom. I guess they really don't like tourists or something. I don't know. Maybe it's because tourists generally don't crash land on the border um, where there are a bunch of monsters and shit. Usually they'll, they'll probably actually land at the airport. But I don't know. I guess that might have something to do with it. You fiends! We, we found you at last, you scum! What have you done with Prince Peasley? Yes, there is no mistake, you kidnapped Prince Peasley. We have witnesses, now confess, villains! What's that? You say you're Mario and Luigi? Lies! Bald-faced lies! The superstars of the Mushroom Kingdom would never come here! Nyeh, 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 they're not lying! They say they've come here chasing someone called Cacletta, and they're really, really tough. Thanks, Tollstar. Oh dear. Oh my, oh boy, pardon us, sirs. So sorry. 
See, our kingdom's Prince Peasley was kidnapped by something. Or so recent reports out of Hoo Hoo Village claim. We have been looking for any sign of the perpetrator. According to eyewitness accounts, the princess's kidnapper wore an odd helmet and spoke of mustard and fink rats. That is all we have to go on. Well, I'd say that narrows it down pretty well. And then they just disperse. Okay. Well, I really don't think we uh, talk about mustard or fink rats that much. In fact, you can't even understand what Mario and Luigi are saying half the time. I don't know how we are, were um, considered suspects. But either way, this segment of the game has always been a pain to me. Mainly because I'm, not, I'm still not entirely sure how you're supposed to go about doing it. Because there's this broken bridge that you have to wait for them to repair. But, um... You have to, like, do something to trigger it to make it repair itself. And I think you just need to talk to everyone, which is especially annoying. But I don't think we have to do that yet. I don't think it's at that part yet. I think first we need to, uh, initiate a certain cutscene, so we're gonna do that now. Is this the bridge? Yep, that's the bridge. So we have to go down, we have to go south, and this is where we need to go. Just across here. You know, just a casual climb down Hoo Hoo Mountain. And then this bastard has to get in our way. Give back Prince Peasley. <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? All right, you you again. You were this pair of fink rats that swooped in with Bowser with with the Bowser that I hate. I need to get used to talking like Fawful. Humph, humph. I say to you, while I was busy with Peasley, you have been catching me. I have fury. But Cacleta has already begun smearing the butter on her next tasty plan over Bean Bean Castle. Since you two cannot make it in time, I say to you that it is better than ever than late. So here is your halting place. I have fury! Since you will not be shattering this stone, I laugh at you trying to climb down this mountain. And once again we are dicked over by the lovely Farfel. So now we're going to need to find some sort of tool that will enable us to smash that block. So we're going to have to go around town, bring it around town, and we need to find some sort of a uh, hammersmith, because that is a word, a hammersmith, to um, build us hammers. This is the last stone. Now we shall... Now we show the true spirit of the Hammerhead Brothers. The stone's are last shot. That is hardcore. Bashing your head against a stone to turn it into a hammer, that is hardcore. I I can't beat that. I cannot top that. <laughs> what? You want us to make you a hammer? Hey, I know these two dudes. They're Mario and Luigi from the Mushroom Kingdom. The Jumpin' Hammer Kings. Yeah, you're so right, Sledge. I remember these guys. Why are a couple of celebrities like you bumming around this place looking for a hammer? Oh, hey, look, you don't have to tell us. We fully understand. Our lips are completely sealed. We'll just make you what you need. We're professionals, after all. That's right, pros all the way. But the thing is, in order to make hammers, we need hoo-hoo blocks from the mountaintop. And since blah 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 suddenly stopped coming down here, we can't get up to the summit. Hoo-hoo blocks are hard stones. Hammers made from these things can't made from those things can break anything. We want to climb the mountain to get more hoo-hoo blocks, but we can't jump well enough to do it. But Mario and Luigi can. So it looks like we're going to go on another quest. Just as soon as those faggots can repair the bridge. Which could take some time. But that is a matter for another episode. Because I believe this is a good stopping point. I am Shadow Productions. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.